Okay, this is Gabe at Token with MotorcycleDaily.com. I'm here at the AIM Expo in Orlando, Florida. And uh, right now I'm at the Race Tech booth with Matt Wiley of Race Tech. And uh, he's got some pretty exciting new stuff to show us. So, uh, Matt, wh uh, what you got? What's the big news this year here? Well, thanks, Gabe. Uh, we're glad to be here. And we are debuting the new Race Tech G6 Series Custom Forks. I've been working on this product for a couple of years. Paul Fee designed it at the behest of Custom and Cafe Bike Builders. And um, this is a completely American-made fork with full race tech setup. The uh, forks are equipped with our G2R 25mm cartridges. And each set is built individually to suit rider needs, bike application, and so on and so forth. They are compression and rebound damping adjustable, spring preload adjustable. I have a GSXR and a Harley Dyna style, two lengths of each type available. So really excited about this American-made product, uh, a fork made for the custom bike rather than trying to adapt racing forks to it. So, so um, this 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 fork, what what this fork is is for? This will this will provide a uh, a custom-built application. Yeah, you know the custom bike builders are always struggling with trying to adapt you know OEM stuff to bikes, and they're looking for more bling, they're looking for more performance. And when you're taking an OEM fork and putting it on a custom bike, you're going to have to revalve it, you're going to have to respring it, the length may, may not be right. This gives us the option to provide them with what they need out of the box. Length, valving, spring rates. And why why not just find a pair of GSXR shots? You certainly can. Man. Like I just described, by the time you do that though, you have to respring it, revalve it, may have to adjust the length, and they look like stock forks. Um, these forks are available with a variety of tube covers, colors, bronze, gold, silver, and black which gives us a custom factor there, two different cap colors, silver and gold. So it gives them the custom factor they're looking for both in appearance as well as performance and fit. Well, and what, what's the pricing? Do you have um, these are in the mid twos. Okay, for, for the set? Yeah, for a pair. Okay, and that's yeah. total custom? Yep, yeah, built, built to order length, spring rates, valving, rider weight, bike application type of use and so forth. And, and are, these design, are these intended to provide competition to very high end? Uh, components like Olin's? Well, yes and no. Um, the Olin's is a great product, but it's a road racing oriented product. So they were designed for road racing and then the custom bike guys have been to try to adapt them to the custom bike market, where we've built for the custom bike market and conversely, we could easily adapt for road racing. So we've kind of gone the other direction from that, giving them an alternative that's made for their needs rather than again, like OEM, trying to adapt a high-end product over to their application. Okay. Now you also do uh, uh, rear shocks as well. We do. These are our G3 series custom shocks. Uh, like the forks, every single set of shocks is built to order based on rider specs for needs of weight, type of use, length, colors, features, you name it. Uh, they're available from anything very simple to fully adjustable as you see here, ride height, rebound, high and low speed compression damping, yeah. hydraulic preload. Um, these shocks run anywhere from $800 to $1,300, depending on the features chosen. Gold valve equipped, all low friction materials, exceptionally large shaft for a light seal load, gives exceptionally long seal life. And since they're built to order, whatever length you want, whatever features you want, right down to spring colors and even some options on body colors. We have these available for virtually every type of motorcycle make. Wow, and then uh, and totally custom to your application. Everything's built to order. And um, built here in the United States? Yes, yes. All race tech products are USA made. And um, the neat thing I like to tell folks is, hey, like unlike other companies where there's a shock in a box waiting to go to you or the person sitting next to you, the person across the hall, your race tech shop doesn't exist until we get your order and build it for you. There's nothing in stock. Everything's built to order. Cool. And uh, what else? What else? Any, and then uh, what? Why, why are you here in Orlando this year? Is it more to talk to consumers or other or dealers? Well, I'm here for both. Uh, we are uh, always looking to recruit new dealers. One of the things that I try to let our dealers know is Racetech has many, many products available to them they can't get to the mainline distributors. So most dealers are used to ordering their Racetech products through Parts Unlimited, WPS, Takaraki, so on and so forth, and that's fine. But we have many, many more products available than what those distributors carry. And so if they become a race tech dealer, it gives them access, well, for instance, to the shocks, the forks, TNK fork tubes, which we are now the US distributor. The TNK fork tubes are made in Italy. They meet or exceed OEM specs. They are available in a variety of different coupe colors. And all the colored tubes are a low friction type material. Uh, so greater longevity, less friction and so forth. Applications from present back to 1956. So got a lot of things covered there. So a 
the best aftermarket fork tube in the world. Uh, nothing else really compares that meets or exceeds OEM specs. And we have the whole product line in stock at Race Tech. All right, very exciting and definitely worth a look over at uh, racetech.com. And uh, thanks very much for chatting with us, Matt. Thanks, Gabe. It's nice to see you again. You too.